Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Welcome back to another Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. Thank you for joining me for another story. I hope you continue to watch and read with us. Today's story is The Snowy Day, written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. This story is about a little boy who <laughs> loves snow. The snow is falling all around his home and he can't do anything but what? That's right, play in it. And he has a great time. However, he doesn't quite know how snow works because he packs them in his pocket and, well, <laughs> I'll let you read along with us to see what happens. As we read today, be sure to pause at our sight words. Make sure you write them down and see if you can find each and every one of those sight words as we read. Now for the parents and the teachers out there, here are a few key developmental indicators that this story teaches. So join us as we read The Snowy Day, written by Ezra Jack Keats, and read aloud to Mr. Jason. The Snowy Day, written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like this. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking the snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough yet. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Well, how'd you like that story? <laughs> it looks like our friend thought that snow was going to keep in his pocket in that warm house. It looks like he learned a little bit about science. Snow and warm don't quite mix together. Thank you for joining me for another Read Aloud. I had a blast reading with you as I always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment a book down below that you would like for us to read together in our Read Alouds. I haven't had too many requests here lately, so I hope next year we're full of them because I love to read what you love to read, and I love to read them together. Thank you for reading with me again. I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget... Keep reading!